Hello, I'm Cliff Smith and welcome to lesson three in my series of lessons on string bends. So today we're going to look at tone and a half bends or one and a half step bends. Um, so I'm going to take the same note I've used in the previous lessons, D on the seventh fret of the G string. And the note I'm aiming for now is three frets above. So there's D, one, two, three frets above that, I've got an F. So I'm going to bend the D up all the way to an F, which requires a bit more strength than the previous two exercises. If you've got very heavy strings on your guitar, or you're playing an acoustic guitar, you might not be able to do this. You really need electric guitar with not too heavy strings in it, or you need to have very strong hands, one of the two. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my third finger, put it on the seventh fret of the G string. I'm also going to add my second finger on the sixth fret, and my first finger on the fifth fret. So I've got three fingers down on that G string, on the fifth, sixth, and seventh frets. The note I'm aiming for, I'm bending from a D all the way up, one, two, three frets, or three semitones, or a tone and a half, or a step and a half, a minor third interval. There's lots of names for that, but it's three frets from D. Three frets up, which is an F. So I'm going to play that note. That's my target note. I'm going to play it, listen to it. And then from there, I'm going to bend up all the way. It's a big bend. So I'll repeat that. Target note, F, which is on the 10th fret of the G string. Play it, listen to it. Remember what it sounds like. And then move down to the 7th fret. Play the note and bend it up to the sound of your target note. I'm doing it slowly there. Do it quickly. Okay, so that's the way you can practice it. You play the target, then you go back to the note you want to bend from and bend to the target. Listen, recreate that note. Target, bend. Target note, string bend. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this free video. There is some tab for this lesson on my website. And please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. Uh, there's some links to all of that stuff in the description of this video.